Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to use APM Desktop Inspector to locate elements on mobile applications. So we have some tools that we can use to record or to get the locators for the elements on mobile applications and APM Desktop Inspector is one of them. We also have a UI automator that we will see later but today we are going to discuss with APM Desktop Inspector and in the earlier session we had created uh, this code to start calculator on the mobile device so we had created this project java project and we have added the code here to open calculator application and this is a continuation from there so just in case you have not watched the earlier session where we created this uh, code to create a test on starting calculator application on mobile device you can watch that and now after I start the mobile application or calculator application, I have to do some actions like I have to do some calculation or addition. So that is what we are going to learn. So for that, I will go to my APM desktop client and you can follow this on Windows or Mac. So you can see this is my mobile device. I'll just minimize this for now and I will open the APM desktop client and you can see this is our APM desktop client and I will say start server and it is started and now I will go to this start inspector session on this button and here it will start our inspector session and now you can see this I am on automatic server and now we have again this desired capabilities section so here I can add the desired capabilities something similar to what I added in the code in our earlier session so you can see this is what we added in the code so the same thing I am going to add in the APM inspector I will copy this device name I will add it here and the name is this and I will click on this plus button I will add the UD ID so UD ID is the ID you get from ADB devices so if I go to my terminal or you can go to your command line on Windows and I say ADB devices so that device should be attached to the system and this is my device ID which is UD ID and I will copy it here and then I have to give the platform name which is Android and the platform version which is 712 and I have already shown you in the earlier session that you can get all this from your mobile device go to settings and if you go to about phone you can see this is Android 712 also if you go inside you can see the device name is this and the Android version is 712 so you can go like this and then we have the app package and this is the app package this is also we have learnt in the earlier session how to get the app package for any application on your mobile device and also the app activity so I will give the app activity as well here and this is it and you can see it has also created a JSON representation and you can edit it from here so in case you have all your desired capabilities saved as JSON you can uh, directly give it here and then you can also save it as a preset so if you say save as and you can give it any name so I will say this is micro max hs2 capabilities and say save you can see it will be saved here so if you go to saved capabilities you will find it here so the next time you just want to reload it you can just go here and reload it so now once you have added this you can say start session and it should start the session on your mobile device and it will open the application so for this case this is the calculator application we are working with and you can also see the real mobile device here so this has open calculator application and here on the APM inspector as well you will see the device and the application here so now you can go to any of the element for example I will go on this two and click and you will see the app source and then the selector element here so you will get the ID X path and other attributes so in the code you can just say I can either use web element or I can just say mobile element so like earlier I had showed I can say mobile element and give any name let's say 2 equals driver dot find element by dot I will say ID 
because I'm using ID and provide the ID of the button here so this is I will copy it from here and give it here and this should be mobile element and yes and similarly I will go to other elements so for example I want to click on plus now I will click here and I will get the ID again and I will say mobile element plus equals driver dot find element by dot ID and I will paste the ID here and then again I want to click on 3 I will click here get the ID of this element and I will say mobile element 3 equals driver dot find element by dot ID so you can use ID name class or whatever you can find so I will say dot ID and I will give the ID of the button 3 and after this I have to click on equals so I will say equals and this is the ID I will copy this and say mobile element equals equals driver dot find element by dot ID and then I can do the action so I have created locators for 2 plus 3 and equals so I will now just say 2 dot click plus dot click 3 dot click and equals dot click so it will click on 2 then plus then 3 and then equals and then it will give me the result here so I also want to get the result so I will click on 2 and I will say tap here and it has it will tap and you can see 2 here I will say plus click on plus and again click on tap here and it has tapped and I will click on 3 and I will say tap and it is here and then I will say equals and I will say tap and now it will give me the result so it has given me the result and I also want to get the locator for this so that I can extract the result so I will click here and you can see it has given me the element locators so we have xpath we have accessibility ID and then you can see we have other attributes so here you can see I have a class as well so let me try to locate it with the class name I will say here mobile element result equals driver dot find element by dot class name and I will give the name here and I can actually just put it along with other elements here so this is what I am doing and then I will say result dot get text so I am getting the text out of the result element and I will store it into some variable I will say string res equals result dot get text and I will print out I will say syso press control spacebar on my keyboard for auto completing system dot out dot print ln and I will say I am using backslash n to go to the next line and I will say result is and plus res so this should give me the result which is 5 and then I will just print out completed and I will save this everything and all this earlier code we have written in our earlier session so you can see the entire code now here so this is our entire code so this is the entire code now and now I will just start it so I will go to my mobile application and I can actually close this and EPM server is already running here so I can just 
go and start my test I will save and right click run as Java application and this is my actual phone and let us see what happens now so it should start calculator and do the calculation for us so it should be connecting to the APM server now and yes it has started calculator and yes equals 5 and you can see this is also saying result is 5 and completed so you can see this is how you can use APM desktop inspector to locate elements on mobile application I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching